Hello, get my glasses straight here. This is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. It's uh, early morning. Had to get up and do something, sense something was going on. So I was checking things out to see what's been going on. And I ran across some things on that Kiwi Farms blog. But first, I want to share with you Matthew 7. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me. You who practice lawlessness. Now, let's go here to Kiwi Farms. This is about the um, accident at Discount Drug Mart parking lot on Saturday the 23rd. First off, I would like to know how did this person that's on Kiwi Farms get these pictures to begin with because I never shared all the pictures I took on my camera. But yet they have all these pictures and they shared them on Kiwi Farms. Three, let's see, well, one, two, three, four. And they're... Of course, the quality isn't all that great, but looks like to me it is when I was parked, of course, here in front of my home because that's like gravel right there in my parking lot where I park at by my home. So these pictures were taken when my vehicle was parked here at my home. Because the photos that I took with my camera on the day of the accident are still on my camera. And I only posted one of those videos, one. I mean, pictures, excuse me, one of those pictures on my Facebook page. Not all of them. I didn't post all of those photographs I took. There was, only, there was four of them. Unless you somehow got into my computer and and took those photographs straight off my computer. That would make you a hacker and then you would know how to get around my uh, firewall. 
But I thought Kapersky was a good antivirus and, well, basically, all in all, a um, very good, um, all-in-one home security program. That's right. It's supposed to be also protecting my computer's firewall as well. So, if this is from those photographs I took that day, which are close-ups. I didn't, those, those are close-up pictures. Those are not the same ones I took. I mean, you can't even see the tire. Can't even see the tire. That's what gives me. You can't even see the tire in the ones I took. Especially at the angle that this one picture is. This one picture here shows my whole tire. Right here on the side there. The tread, that is. Where in the other pictures, I don't even, I don't, that I took with my cell phone, I don't even, you know, but see, another thing uh, I did was, I went to my insurance company's app, app, and took pictures to send the pictures to my insurance company. Now, that's what I'm thinking that happened here is somehow this person gained access to my insurance company's app and took the pictures from there. Which means they hacked my insurance company. Or they worked for my insurance company. These pictures would only have to been taken from when I took pictures of um, the damage to my van. Through the app that my insurance company has. Of course, they got that video and posted it. And then they're talking, at least two talking about the, you know, my accident here too as well. Of course, it wasn't my fault. It was called No Fault Insurance. But it's not insurance fraud. Thank you very much. You're the ones that are breaking the law by getting photographs from my insurance company and posting them on Kiwi Farms. You're breaking the law and, you're, and you think you can get away with it. That's the problem. If you think you're better, then face me face to face. All you want to do is hide behind a blog that is designed to try to hurt me and to destroy me and you will stop at nothing but to hack even my insurance company to get whatever information that you think you have are entitled to. You're, you're not entitled to it. I'm getting sick of this, so I'm I'm calling my insurance company tomorrow, the claims adjuster, and I'm going to tell her, those pictures I took ended up on a website, a blog that's designed to hurt me because I'm an ordained minister, and you people hate 
me hate my ministry and hate my organization that I have. You hate everything about me. And you're trying now you're trying to say it's insurance fraud. Grow up. Or it's time to put up or shut up. What you will never do, you will never face me face to face because you don't want to put up. All you want to do is hide behind your technology and your ability to hack in order to try to prove me wrong. Now I've proven that you are hacking things. Hacking websites that you had no right to hack. Because the photographs, like I said, that I took was, was on my cell phone. Are still on my cell phone. Plus, I, you know, download them to my computer. And they were totally different than what is on that Kiwi Farms. Or you get them from the police. Because the police officer, he took pictures too. So either you get them from the police. Or my insurance company, one of the two. Because, you know, that's the only way you could get those pictures. But it looks like they were taken right out in front of my house trailer when I was taking pictures that I had to take of the damage through my insurance company's app. God have mercy on your souls. Okay, if you are even a believer, you are here from Jesus Christ. Depart from me, you worker of lawlessness. God bless you. Have a blessed day.